Originally designed in the shipyards of Mon Calamari as a deep space explorer vessel, the conversion process that transformed the MC-80 Star Cruiser into a multi-role warship resulted in a number of different subclasses in service to the Rebel Alliance, easily the most famous of which was the so-called Home One type Star Cruiser. The recorded length of the Home One subclass stands at 1,200 meters, but individual ships of the class often vary slightly in size and shape based on the artistic preference of their individual designer, with some reaching as far as 1,400 meters from bow to stern. The general frame of the class is long and narrow, presenting an uneven and distinctly aquatic hull. The ships require a minimum crew of 1,230 to operate, but often carry over 5,400 personnel, in addition to 1,000 200 embarked ground troops. The standard armament of a Home One type vessel includes an impressive 36 turbo lasers and 36 heavy ion cannons. Unlike its Liberty type counterpart, the Home One subclass is configured for broadside attacks, presenting vast firing arcs to the port and starboard that pose a serious threat to even the toughest Imperial warships. Though no Mon Calamari cruiser can directly match the firepower of an Imperial Star Destroyer, the vessels do possess a sizable advantage in range and precision targeting, allowing them to accurately disable crucial subsystems on a large vessel. While the MC-80 Liberty type is more valuable in direct ship-to-ship -ship combat, the Home One type serves as a powerful carrier, holding 120 strike craft of mixed varieties, including X, A, B and Y wings, as well as short-range utility craft and shuttles. As a general rule, the Rebel Alliance possess far superior strike craft to the Empire, as well as a great number of highly competent pilots. This makes the Home One subclass into an incredibly powerful asset, but also one that should not be risked without adequate cause. Mon Calamari cruisers generally carry extremely light armor, compensating for this with numerous redundant shield generators. This lack of heavy armor plating greatly improves the ship's thrust to weight ratio, resulting in increased maneuverability and acceleration, but leaves the warship with very little time to escape combat should its shields begin to fail, as even the briefest exposure to direct weapons fire would result in mass casualties and fatal damage. Undoubtedly the most famous Mon Calamari cruiser ever constructed was Home One herself, the first warship of her kind. The huge vessel was captained by Admiral Gial Akbar as the flagship of the Rebel Alliance, and fitted with a number of features not present in her sister ships. The ship carried heavier armor than standard, as well as an even greater number of shield generators, projecting triple strength shields. The cruiser's fighter complement was also larger than standard, and included many of the finest pilots ever to serve in the Rebel Alliance. These pilots and their mother ship proved themselves many times over in the climactic battle of Endor, where the rebellion finally turned the tide of the galactic civil war. Thank you for watching Space Doc. Please remember to like, subscribe and share for more science fiction spacecraft summaries. If you enjoy the channel, why not consider pledging your support on Patreon? For just $1 a month, you'll be able to access the Space Doc schedule to see what's coming up.